Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of uh, Bite Size PD. My name is Adele. I'm one of your K-12 instructional tech coaches with BNLT. On today's episode, we're going to go ahead and look at one of our most popular, most used tool, which is Google Slides again, but more of a choose your own adventure type of activity with your students. Now, you may have recalled back in December, we, we created this awesome choice board for staff and students regarding coding. But that choice board is very similar to what you would do in a choose your own adventure. So by clicking on an image or a text box, you go ahead and click on insert and link and then find the specific slide that you want uh, your students to go to. So if it was slide one or slide two, you can highlight that. So when you go ahead and click on present mode or your slideshow, it will take them to that specific slide. Now you may always want to add a return text box or image that will bring them back to the main room. On today's uh, episode, we're going to have uh, Jeannine Blois, a grade three French immersion teacher at Devonshire Public School, and they're going to highlight how they were able to use it with their students. So thank you again and uh, let's take a look. Hi everyone, my name is Janine Bluin and I am a grade three teacher. I wanted to share an activity that I did with my class. It was actually something that I did for the first time last year during lockdown and it was at the end of the year, students were really tired and this activity was a lifesaver. As soon as the students found out that they were going to be doing choose your own adventure stories, they got super excited. So what I did to start was I showed them an example of a story. We talked about the important parts of a story. And the story that I showed them was about a girl who lived in a castle and she went into a magical forest with her cat and she lost her cat. So then there were the three choices and the students got to vote during our shared reading on what they wanted to do together to solve the problem. And as you can see here, so they decided to go into the cave to see if the cat was there and no, the cat was not there. So we had to go back and then they decided to ask the eagle and the eagle helped the girl find her cat. So they were able to solve the problem and they went back to their castle and everyone was happy and they loved really being part of that choice making and part of the story. And from there, they did some brainstorming in groups. It was a collaborative activity and they wrote up their stories revised, edited, and then I provided them in Google Class with a template. So they got to put in the title, they got to add the details about their story, and then here they put in the information about the problem and the different choices for how to solve the problem. So as you can see, when you click, it will bring you to the information about whatever option they chose. And the students loved it. First of all, they love choose your own adventure stories, and then they loved having the tech aspect of it as well involved. They love anything to do with computers and working in Google Slides. Uh, at the beginning of the year, they weren't familiar with Google Slides, but we've done several different activities in grade three, incorporating them. So now towards the end of the year, they're quite comfortable and it has really gone well. And I think it's a great way to include information on writing, on the different parts of a story, and then really, really getting students engaged using tech. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you again, Janine, for celebrating your students' success and stories with us. And thank you for being so kind by sharing those two templates, both in English and in French, for Choose Your Own Adventure. Both templates are going to be linked below the video in the description. As always, if you have any questions, please visit our Modern Learning website. And if you ever want to subscribe to our Bite Size PD channel so you don't miss out on an episode, please feel free. Take care and thank you again.